Um, we've been working on uh, exit codes, and uh, last tutorial we looked over how to see if a directory exists or not. Uh, and today, uh, in that video, I had a viewer ask if um, there's a easy way or a good way to check to see if a program is installed uh, within a script. Obviously, if you use aptitude here, I'll give you an example. I'll say aptitude search, oops, search. Uh, and we'll use Apache as an example. And there's a bunch of Apache um, packages, but you'll see some of them will have this I next to them. And that's one way you can quickly look. Okay, I means that it's installed. And that's one way of looking at. But in a script, if you want the script to um, continue differently based on whether a program is installed, like if your script depends on a program, it can check to see if that package is installed and if it is installed continue and if it's not you know advise the user that needs to be installed or maybe even try to install it itself um, so the way we're going to do that uh, once again is with exit codes um, but we're going to use uh, uh, dpkg uh, and dpkg is uh, this is for Debian based distros so Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint a lot of distributions um, if you're using something that's not Debian based this probably won't work for you that, but uh, DPKG, uh, Debian Package uh, System, basically uh, it's what's used to install Debian packages. Uh, Aptitude, apt-get, synaptic, all these programs, I'm pretty sure using DPKG in the background. If you were to download a deb file, you could use DPKG to install the deb file. Um, but you can also check things with, so I can say dash s, and I can say something like nmap. And if I hit enter there, it gives me the information about Nmap, the current uh, you know version that's installed. Um, we can also do something like Apache. Now you got to give it the package name. So here I'm searching Apache, which I do have installed. But if I hit enter, you can see here that it gets an error. It's not installed. It's because the package uh, in my case is actually called. Uh, Apache 2, so it's important to know the name of the package you're searching for because you're not necessarily searching for the program that's installed, you're searching for the package that's installed. But uh, if you're writing a script and you're using DPKG, you're using a Debian based distro, you should know what the package is installed when you're writing the script. Uh, so if I do uh, DPKG S, uh, I assume stands for show, it will show the information about Apache 2 package, and there you can see that it is status is installed and it's okay. Um, so now if we do that now if I say echo dollar, uh, dollar sign question mark to get the exit code you can see it exit with a zero in that case but if I do it again without the two or with any package name that's not a package that's installed or a package that doesn't exist you get this now if I say echo dollar sign question mark I get an X code of one so now we know that when we run this command that we're going to uh, if it's zero it's installed if it's one it's not um, but we do get output with both of these so what we're going to do is let's say we'll try with Apache here we'll say um, uh, ampersand uh, greater than symbol and we'll redirect this into uh, dev null so we're just taking the all the output whether it's uh, you know standard output or error output and it will be putting it into null, so basically just throwing it away. So now I can say echo1 because we know Apache does, is not installed, but Apache2 is installed because we get a zero. So uh, we can check that exit code and continue uh, in the way that we need to for our script. So uh, if you're not understanding exit codes, watch my previous videos. There should be a uh, annotation somewhere in this video that will link to the entire playlist uh, for this year's uh, shell script tutorials and the ones previous to this will be the ones you're looking for or you can go to my site or my YouTube channel and search through my videos I'm sure if you just search exit codes uh, the videos on exit code should come up so I hope this helps you out uh, that's just one way of doing it once again this is specific to Debian based distros but um, you could do something similar I'm sure with uh, Red Hat uh, distros with RPM, uh, but it all just depends on your package manager. But if you're running, once again, a Debian-based distro, you should be set with this. This should work for you. 
Uh, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. You can also go there to search through my videos. And uh, I just hope that you have a great day. Also, remember, if you have technical questions, uh, try not to an ask them in the comments here. It's a good chance they're not going to get answered. Um, technical questions, uh, or if you just want to hang out and chat, feel free to join the RRC channel I have set up on Freenode. It's pound films by Chris. It's Chris with a K. If you go to filmsbychris.com, uh, you can also click on uh, the link for the IRC up in the menu. Uh, also, all those links should be in the description of this video. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.